The Beast Project starts now. Are you in? Hello everyone, I hope you are fantastic and welcome one more day to The Peace Project Starts Now. On today's episode we are going to discuss about the Arab human rights. This is going to be our first step into it. The Arab world is a reflection of respect to their oldest traditions. A proof of that is its political system as well as its legal system where the values play an essential role. And for that, it is very important the appropriate political exploitation of these values because individual rights are harmed for the political fullness, which finally ends up by cancelling the individual autonomy of will. This continued presence of the traditions in the Arab world, together with the sanctification of the authority and its omnipotence, caused a situation of submission in which the authority starts to exercise the despotism of costume already formulated by Stuart Mill. The rights are then following the same line given by God. This means that the rights are not going to be modified according to the society of the time, but that they are going to remain unshakable because they are the result of the word of God, and that is permanent. In that point, we should wonder, would not be another way to combine the word of God with a historical moment in order to understand the human rights as in the occidental society without harming them? In order to answer to this question, I am going to set two examples very clear and that you already might know. In the law are included the corporal punishments and there are many limitations in the actions of women. As a consequence, if the own law of God already considers that there are punishments that have to be executed by the force and that the, wi the woman has not an equal position to the man, then as much as we want to adapt the rules to the society of the moment, we will never manage to get the same recognition of the human rights as in the occidental countries. This has sense because from the beginning I personally say the Arab world, making a distinction to this culture. Despite of that, I believe that the Arab citizens should wonder until what point it is effective to take their traditions to the court. We all have to love our culture, our origins, but we all have to be capable to distinguish between applying them in private and solving social conflicts according to them. In that way, we would continue to respect our values, but we would also adapt the social model to the historical present based on the search of the great good with means established in that good. And that would already be a first step that would drive directly to a greater equality as well as to a proportionality in the punishments that would avoid the use of force. I think that now you will understand that, from my point of view, the Universal De Islamic Declaration of Human Rights, proclaimed the 19th of September of 1981, is a pantomime. I will to show that the Arab world is adjusted to the times and it recognizes the human rights. Nothing beyond reality. The only fact of establishing an universal declaration only for a single culture already seems that there is something fishy going on there. Arab people, if you are watching this video right now, I want you to know that if you want to do something right, start by introducing the change that I suggested before. Modify your legal system to dissociate it from your religion. But avoid in the future to write a list of human rights that are not different from what we all know and that they do not improve the legal situation. In other words, they are not effective at all. I would like to know if you also think that it is a good step to dissociate the religion and the legal system. I also would like to know how do you feel about the Arab situation. You can post your answers in the topic religion under the category about justice of my website www.thepeaceprojectstartsnow.com That is everything for now, see you here in YouTube, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming on and if you want to contact me in private you can do it on facebook or on twitter in facebook i am the peace project starts now and in twitter i am the true peace be healthy and follow peace in your life the peace project starts now are you in